it was a friendly country to the U.S. And so the United States was training nuclear scientists here at MIT to eventually return to Iran. So your background is so interesting. Your family is from Iran. And at some point, it was really your father and your mother who, um, I think after the revolution, ended up coming to the States, but your father was already working in the States. Correct. So my family is Persian. We're Persian Jews. And um, some of my family had already come to the United States before the revolution. The rest of my family essentially escaped just before or during the revolution. But my father was already here um, because he was part of a small group of Iranian scientists that were being trained at MIT in nuclear engineering and nuclear physics. Because now we think of Iran as a hostile government and, and not a friend of the U.S., but at that time, the Shah was in power and it was a very different situation. It was a friendly country to the U.S. Um, and so the United States was training nuclear scientists here at MIT um, to eventually return to Iran. And during that time, the revolution happened. Um, my father was lucky enough to be able to just stay here in the United States. Um, and so my sisters and I grew up here. I was actually the first person in my family born in the U.S. Um, as compared to Iran. So at the time of the revolution, was your father in Boston at that point in time? And with the rest of your family, your mother and your siblings? We were So I was born in 1978, which mm -hmm. is the year of the revolution, yeah. and I was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I'm the oldest, so all my sisters came after me. Um, but I do have family members. Um, one of my cousins in particular um, was actually at Pahlavi University when the re revolution happened and watched her classmates literally be uh, gunned down by machine guns. Um, she's written a book about it. But there were some very scary experiences, but we were fortunate enough to already be in the U.S. at the time. That's interesting. So your father's career path is relevant to what's happening in today's politics with Iran regarding their nuclear capabilities. Uh, what do you think about it? So my father now works for the U.S. government, so he's not allowed to talk about any of the work that he does, which is actually we don't a want funny to, way. <laughs> right? We don't want him. Right. But that, that's a funny way to grow up, right? Like not necessarily, um, you know, knowing, um, you know, where he was or what he's working on. But obviously, I mean, it's a level of security and confidentiality that goes beyond anything that, you know, we can imagine in, in normal life. 